we'll click this and then say, yo, what up? How's it going? It's going pretty well. Good. I'm just here. figuring stuff out for set five now. Hey, we love it. We love it. Well, um, it looks like we have an ordered Kendo deck. Hit me with a pitch. What's uh, what's going on here? So, I was just going around figuring out which punch decks I could build on each symbol. <laughs> Notice okay. that uh, focused attack would be a really interesting one, especially with him. If I get it to hit, I get to discard a card and try and hit them again. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, that seems very spooky with this card, huh? That that was kind of my main goal. Just see how many times I can focus attack somebody. Huh. Um, and then since I've got two Eraserhead players at locals, my sideboard is just ten more different punches that are that mids. I can side out of mids. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, makes sense, makes sense. Uh, so what do you need my help with? Uh, I was kind of wanting to trim it down to a few cards and then probably change up some stuff because I built this before the whole set was announced. Sure. That is right. fair. That's super fair. And now I actually have two more cards I want to put in the sideboard besides Flurry of Punches. What's that? I want to use the new uh, Deku SR. The repeated 100% smashes. It is the card that I'm currently looking at. <laughs> so, yeah. I just I just put it in your sideboard. Sweet. Yeah. And then other than that, the deck's main goal is to be aggressive, punch hard, punch fast. Yeah. No two checks, right? No. no? Uh, the okay. only two checks are the bullet punches in the sideboard. Love it. I was debating on getting this one deck tech or deck docked or uh, my evil build because I really want to relentless barrage people in that one. Yes, that's what I was doing with mine. I was playing both relentless barrage and bullet punches, and it was fine. It wasn't amazing, but it was fine. This, this, did I put that in the wrong spot? I did put that in the wrong spot. Okay. We are continuing. We're still moving. I'm only in set three. Yeah. Yeah, there's there are a lot of really cool order cards that could be put into this. Order is a symbol is actually just too cool. Yeah, and I'm normally a Denki player, and I'm back to building Denki on order. <laughs> but I'm really excited to play some cards that I don't normally get to see outside of, like, Levi playing all punches. Yeah. Or reverse throw would just be in here. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense to me. You got a lot of stuff. So I'm not really looking at what you added. I'm looking at what you didn't add, right? Um, yeah, I wanted to make, see if you saw anything I didn't. Yeah. All right. We now have uh, 30 cards. Oh, almost. Okay. Um... Okay, so let's uh let's chat about it. So so obviously you were like, yo, no flurry, yes repeated. That's that's just like a no brainer. Um, I think this card in traditional, uh, in in not mono mid, um, Repa is going to be very very strong. <laughs> uh, so yeah, cyborg this guy just makes makes total sense. Uh, the other attacks that I have for you are uh, tape stream jab. Um, it says plus one speed to all your moves. 
because it is like they added the top card of the Discord pile down. So if you can figure out how to make it any any beefier, that's that's where it is, right? Um, is that better than Haymaker? I don't know. Is that better than than Wind Up Punch? I don't know. Um, is it essentially does the same job as Cat Punch, right? Because it forces him to block because it just hits too hard. Um, but like, there's the there's there's an idea. Same thing with Delaware Smash. This is like it's another Flash Punch that you just kind of get to get to swing. Um, is that better than Haymaker? Maybe. What's the speed on Delaware? Uh, I guess it's like we have abilities on this card, whereas we don't have abilities on this one. It's just printed. It's a four diff six damage as opposed to a five diff five damage. There's the big question: breaker or not? I don't know. I don't, I don't think there's like an obvious. You miss this. I just wanted to put it out of, out out into the universe that, that these things exist. No, I actually missed tape stream jab when I was going through cards. Uh, but I, I'm wondering if that might be better than Flurry of Punches. Give everything plus one speed instead of giving one thing plus two plus two. If you can plus sacrifice three plus three. the high block, yeah. Which it looks like we can because we have, we've we got Jolt and Charge as high blocks. Yeah, that's what I would do. Easy. Simple double tape stream jab. Yeah, because it just makes this faster that they can't like interact with, right? Imagine like tape stream jab, tape stream jab, focused attack. It's an eight mid for for twelve that you lift up and play again. It's an eight mid for twelve. Um, way better than f increasing the difficulty. Good call. And then um, uh, actions assets. Uh, we have USJ. Uh, just like. Giving your second move plus two plus two to make it like even scarier feels really, really solid, right? Um, my cat punches are now uh, four for eights that you can make six for eights as a five diff. It feels super good. So they have to, they have to interact with that one, and then you just play the focus the focus attack twice. It also works on your flash move, so you can play tape stream jab, shove a card, play haymaker. Uh, check your five, commit your one, respond, give it plus one damage, and so that's a four for six. And then USJ is a six for eight flash that they catch. As well as it is selective stun or draw if they try to mess with your stuff. It's also a low block. I don't know how much we need them. Uh, Deku's notebook says that you just change the zone of your move so that plus ultra doesn't just like absolutely destroy you, right? Um, it still lets you like this is really important. It might if your locals are a bunch of eraser heads, then you just like still play the focus attack and then play Deku's notebook and change its zone. Look at their hand and change its zone. Like they have to seal this with their with their action, and that's one less action that they have available to them. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. Uh, and then lastly, just flex your might. We're playing cat punch and wind up punch. And if we were playing uh, something like Delaware Smash, I think that like Fletcher Might's like a really cool option of just like draw two fresh cards. This card doesn't count towards progressive um, as like an idea. Um, I didn't put in like the obvious order stuff of like Runaway or Showdown, but this is like just like another cool all of my moves kind of have an extra stun, um, especially with things like Electric Jolt, right? Stun yeah, run, I did. not Electric Jolt hits, stun an extra. I didn't want to play showdown or runaway because i wanted to be more aggressive with this deck yeah so i could definitely see the drawing helping yeah the only issue is is like somebody's gonna like you're gonna you're gonna do this and you're gonna be like i'll show you cat punch and then they're gonna show you uh final smash and you're gonna be like nice <laughs> well i guess all my moves has done one hopefully <laughs> You're one mid block. Okay, well, one of them doesn't have stun one. So, like, it's super possible this card just might be, like, hella dead, but it will, it's yet to be seen. I think I'm more open to USJ and Deku's notebook. Yeah. Yeah. I think well, I'm just worried about trying to play a three on turn one if I sideboard, but then I just don't play it on turn one. Sure. Yeah. I just, like, live with it. Because you're not playing two checks, right? It's fine. Yeah, not in the main. Play it. All your foundations count as like 1.5 foundations, anyways. So like you're good. Yeah, uh, so I'd I'd probably just I'd probably want to toss one of each in. Let's do it. And at least try it. You know. 
Yeah, and I'm I really like USJ with the with the flash cards. And if I decide to play uh, Delaware over Tape Stream Jab, yeah, that is a lot of stats. Yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> it's, it's very cool. Um, okay, so uh, foundation wise, determined. This is good deadlock threat. Uh, I didn't I didn't see a deadlock threat really. I'm just saying that all your punches just to get massive. It could be like a one of if you need. It. It's a six check. It says that like your haymakers are easy to block with. Um, evil order, evil order. No, there's sadly just... not a whole lot because they're all under his face. Look at the symbols. Ready? Look at the symbol on feature charge. They got bigger. They're small. It's a big. Huh. Okay. Uh. <laughs> um. Uh. Up next, things like in control, league invitation, mastermind. These are three of the absolute best order cards that exist in the game. Um, the only issue is that, like, this is a 2-4, this is a 3-5, and this card's perfect. I don't know why we're not playing it. Except, except for we're, we're trying to destroy foundations for, to increase our check, um, but I just want my moves to be fast. Um, I yeah, think I think I think removing foundations is what kept me away from it. Yeah. Fair. But I could definitely see playing it. Uh, up next, award the victor. Seems really cool on turns that aren't the um, aren't the uh, focus attack turn um, to like help just lube your checks a little bit harder. Um, uh, Gift from mom says that all your moves have powerful because besides wind up punch, you don't have a momentum out really. Um, and so like just like a one a one of uh, gift from mom just says that like. All it's like discard one and plus three damage. Oh, you have to block it now. Well, then, like, this thing is actually going to really connect. Um, because like there's no woman out over here. Um, yeah, I didn't even think about that. I do really, I think that'd be sweet. Just have the nice one of, yeah, it's it, if it's amazing if you see it. If you don't, that's eh, fine. Uh, good impression says that uh, it does like the job of your character. I don't know if you're missing like two, five, three high block slots. Passing the torch, crazy. You're not running this card. That's insane to me. Uh, your character, your character says, destroy committed foundation for plus two your stats. And so like on the turn that you want to go in, you just commit your passing the torch and then draw the card and then blow it up, <laughs> be, be done with it. And then yeah, I think while I think while I was looking at this, I didn't want a whole lot of twos. I wanted to pretty much go first, build six, sure, if possible. Sure. Uh, I like self sack way better than trusted ass uh, assistant. Um, selectively flipping their, selectively committing their card is probably not that great, truthfully. Um, I just like to try the new cards when I build a new deck, but okay. I definitely understand wanting to play self sack over it. If this card was a five check, I think I'd be so down, but like, it's not. <laughs> um, have you tried Lust for Battle? Is this card even worth it? I actually haven't been able to test yet. Okay. Uh, hardly any of the people I play with play online. Mm. This card is interesting, um, because it, it, this card's interesting because it, it's like it's sometimes breaker one on their turn. Like after you block with a move, it says breaker one. Like this card. Yeah, this card I, is I such really a, wanted to try this out. High, high, low, high. Like, like it's just a roller coaster of like my my thoughts on this card. Because like it's just got weird timing after it enters your discard pile during the combat phase. I mean, it's like when you're playing cards and shit. Like that's weird. <laughs> yeah, I w I when I was building my fire build, I realized the Bakugo stuff wasn't gonna work for him. But mm -hmm. lust for battle, I, or lust for yeah, lust for battle works really well, which I would hope it has his face on it. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I think the only thing that you're really missing, right? Like, you've got quantity of foundations, just not quality. Um, I think League Invitation inside this deck is, like, incredible. I know you said you, like, won a bunch of one ofs, But, like, even just, like, taking the League Invitation and making it the two of instead of this trusted assistant, it's going to even up your block, block mods a little bit. Um, and, like, this card is selective stun uh, on a playable committed card so that you, on the next one you can just blow it up. Um, so like first attack, you play, you, you enhance with it. So you're, 
the check gets minus two. And there's your cat punch, right? And then you play uh, tape stream jab, and you add the card in the card pool, and then you flip, and then you commit their best thing, and then you play the focus attack, and then destroy the committed league invitation, and then you're good. Uh, yeah, I think what changed it up was when we took out the flurry of punches and put in the tape stream jabs and messed mm, with my blocks. Right, right, right. So making the trusted assistant swap for league invitation would be perfect. Yeah. So two there, zero there. And then 62. Swing, swing, swing. This looks good enough to start testing, brother. Yeah, no, I'm... I think I'm excited to try it out. Uh, how do you feel about three hot blooded? It's mostly at three, just so I can see it. Especially sure. with it's mostly going to be a flip cost. Yeah, I think that you're going to put this down to a two of in no time. <laughs> oh, Maybe that even I was most likely. <laughs> it was definitely going to go down. I just want to see it to try it first. Yeah, I think if you do that and you just make them two in controls, you'll probably probably be set. Or even like. Um, it could be like a two masterminds apprentice and you probably won't miss it or even like a fourth note taking wouldn't be bad yeah I'll have to keep those in mind yeah. easy peasy alright man uh, any final thoughts other than I cannot wait to subject my friends to this <laughs> no I'm excited well, well I love it that's amazing that's amazing alright well, thank you so much for uh, for hanging out, and uh, we will we'll catch you next time. Okay. Oh, thank you.